Yo, what are you saying? It's your boy Mouse Traps, and I'm back again with another video. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at Barcraft TV, the same channel that supplied us with the amazing content of the man who wishes to be Michael Jackson. And in today's video, we're going to be looking at what happens if we take butt injections too far. So yeah, let's get into the video. At one point, I wanted a bigger butt at any cost, but now I realize, you know, it could cost me my life. I'm not gonna lie, if you're gonna do surgery like this, and you research it, I think the first thing that comes under any sort of risk is risk of death. Like, it'd be looking at stuff you wanna shove up your ass really and truly, like, there's a risk you're gonna die. Like, you, you don't need somebody with a diploma to tell you that. It's crazy. When I first got butt injections, I was 22 years old. A lot of people say, work out, do squats, get a bigger booty. But no, I worked out and my booty got smaller. Yeah, I'm not going to lie. This this whole thing here is just a complete fuckery. If, you're, if you said you're working out and, you're not, and it's not doing the properly, you're not doing the right exercises, and I'm not gonna lie with all this shit, with all these people trying to take pictures of us. That is some bullshit, really and truly. Like, you wouldn't be walking down the street and taking a picture of somebody's house. All of these people grouped up in one place. Yeah, that's the reason why I said this Barcroft TV thing is fake. Like, the same thing with that Michael Jackson, everybody's saying, oh, he looks just like Michael. He doesn't. He doesn't. My last interview was two or three years ago. I decided to make some lifestyle changes because I'm not young anymore. You know, I want to be better than I was last year. <laughs> you making a video? Damn underscore Miss Miami, follow me. I'm working on a few things that help me just express myself with words and with actions instead of sp expressing myself with being naked. Wait a second. Let let's go back. L let's go back again. Damn underscore Miss Miami, follow me. So she said that, but she's still shaking her ass around saying follow my Instagram for this and that. If somebody came up to you and they were shaking her ass and saying follow my Instagram, you would expect them to see, you would expect to see that type of content when you go on her Instagram. Uh, am I the only one not getting this? Now I just want people to see me more as Courtney. Okay, I may look like a circus freak because my booty big like this, but... I just want people to see me for me. It's a bit too late for that. How can you be saying you want people to see you for you and you're on Barcroft TV? <laughs> you're saying you want people to see you for you, but you're twerking your ass around saying follow my Instagram. Yeah, I'm on the score, Miss Miami, follow me. <laughs> just playing games. Even talking about it is not easy. So, you know, I'm a work in progress. Okay, yeah, the segment. See, this I know this whole thing's fake. This this shit right here, really and truly. And this guy said I was not rolling. She's she's just doing already finding her eye shit. And this I know this whole thing on Barcraft TV with all these people is fake. All kind of rubbish. The surgery to remove the butt injections is so complicated and I don't even know how much the financial costs because it's well over $20,000. Are there any risk involved with removing the, the shots? Yes, there are a lot of risks involved. And I, and I don't even think doctors fully know the risk until they're there, like until they have to deal with this. Right, the problem is, is that she knows the risk of how much and how much it's going to take. Um, what is that cost? Like what? She knows, she knows what's at stake if she wants to take all this shit out. But she's telling me she didn't know what was at stake pushing all this shit in. But how can you be so dumb? Hello. 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 How are you? How are you? Hey, how are you? Good. Health-wise, I am healthy, but there are just still physical changes going on in my body. Like my butt is still discolored with sags. Um, that there, that there is just fucking disgusting, I'm not gonna lie. Like, if you know there's discoloration, why are you pumping more shit in there? Um, if you know it's not feeling right, not looking right, why are you gonna continue to the point that you're gonna die? 
definitely had illegal injection of polymer, which is a very sad but common thing that occurs in the area. So we see a lot, a lot of complications with that. And some patients get a lot of symptoms, a lot of pain. They can't sleep, they can lean on it, they can rest. So it's, a, it's an awful uh, tre illegal treatment. So she went out of her way to get illegal treatment. And the only way you'll go out to do something illegal is if it's, if it's cheaper. So she went out to do a cheap option. Now she's paying, now she's paying the price for it. And you, you listen to all the stuff that the doctor's saying, it, is it worth it? Me personally, I don't think it's worth it. And if there's any girls out here watching my channel, it's not worth it, don't do it. Don't, don't risk your life for something like this. Don't do this here, but I have a recommendation for you. To go oh, really? somewhere and have an evaluation and someone has a lot of experience. Um, the doctor himself didn't even know what to do. Right? He even sent her away. And not gonna lie, I, I think it's a bit of a risky move. Or this guy to even do it himself. He, he doesn't even seem confident that he, that he knows what's going on. She doesn't have a lot of symptoms besides the size and the lumps. So if she doesn't remove it, it's gonna hopefully remain like that. But uh, some people at any point in life, they can develop symptoms. Got to the point that all the stuff that didn't dissolve in our ass, the doctor saying that hopefully it stays like that. But if a doctor saying hopefully all that ugly bumps and all that stays like that, shows you that if those bumps were to magically burst or something, you're dead, you're done out here, you're finished. I'm tired of being a, a victim of like bullying on social media just because of how I look. You're not being a victim. The guy just said what it looks like, even though it's kind of rude. And with the type of provocative content you're putting out there, you should, ex you should expect some backlash like this, really and truly. And the guy was probably just joking. And I love out of all of those comments, it's just that waste man comment that I showed up really and truly. Just trying to pinpoint a point that doesn't even exist. So tell me how they look. Okay. Yeah. Don't hold back. Get ready for some honesty. This don't even fit. Turn around, let me see. Oh, wow. Damn. Wow. Damn. <laughs> okay. That's why I don't like to go shopping, so for real. Um, it's gotten to the point that she can't put on normal clothes which is stuff so much shit up her bum. But what kind of what kind of nonsense is this? I like it. I really definitely like it. We are it's getting closer to something it. more conservative. Look, but this is really not because I want my image to match who I am. Okay, this doesn't make sense here. She's saying she wants her image to match who she is, but what what who is she really and truly is she the person the bookseller the author the person who wants to tell the people to be better or is she the ig model who's shaking her ass up and down like who, who are you courtney as an influencer she's going through this change right now where she wants to really up level her image she is experiencing a bit of a contradiction let's say but she also feels obligated to deliver to her fans. But look! Damn. Okay. What we're working on is, how does she create that balance? What, well, the balance between her and Orpha? But I don't see no balance between them, really truly. I just want to look good in clothes and feel good in clothes, but I don't want it to still look like I'm just overly sexual but is it really about my butt smaller or is it about the clothes i choose it's about none of those options really and truly it's about you shaking your ass on instagram really and truly are she saying that she wants to prove that she's not overly sexual some shit like that and she's out there on instagram just shaking her ass up and down like you put the image out there just delete the video really and truly like if it's bothering you this much just delete all the videos that you've overly sexualized yourself in get as many people as I can understanding what I went through so they won't go through it. I know on my Instagram I'm always showing my body and I know I'm always showing my butt. I don't, I don't want to send mixed messages but because the butt attracts people once I do get them on my page and they're able to read my captions or understand what I'm about then hopefully they fully get the message of what I'm trying to portray. I'm not gonna lie um if you go to a girl's IG just for the ass pics. You're only going to be going there for the ass pics. They're not going to be there looking at the bio, looking at any of the other shit that's advertised there. Some people may even think all oh, the books they're seeing while they're scrolling down is just advertisements. Like, really and truly, she's just playing with herself. She knows what she's doing. Like, 
yeah this is a good marketing strategy you shit my ass on insta get more traffic to my page but is anybody really consuming your content it looks good does not mean it's healthy and i just want to say don't do it don't do it go to a surgeon do some research how you think i'll look with a smaller butt are you all like ready for that me personally i think it's a good idea because I'm not only doing this for me, I'm doing this for a lot of girls. She's trying to shit, she's just doing it for her. She just realized that she's going to die. Because I'm pretty sure if, if this shit wasn't bothering her, if all the shit they pop out, if it was dissolved properly, if it was looking all nice, she will be continuing to do it. It's only when there's like a life or health risk, that's the reason why she will change her mind. So don't bullshit, you're doing it for yourself. I have made a lot of mistakes, but I am looking to put it all behind me, including this behind. If you're looking into doing cosmetic surgery, this should just put you off right here. Don't need to change who you are for anybody. As I said in the Michael Jackson video, just be happy with yourself. Find that inner happiness and what you look like and everything will be well. If you like this video, make sure you like and you comment down below what I did right, comment down below what I did wrong, and I'll change it in the next video. If it's the first time you're seeing my ugly mug, on your screen make sure you like and subscribe hit that notification bell to get notified if ever or whenever i post and yeah i'll see you in the next one in a bit she got me going psycho she got me going down 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 got me living on a tightrope